Okay, traders, uh, just want to report out from yesterday's progress. Remember, we are more than halfway through this contest. We finish this contest up on, on next Monday. Okay, next Monday, uh, this is over. And we have had quite a change, quite a change in the leaderboard. Uh, Bilal keeps the lead right now, 26,768 in total profit and loss. Boris, congratulations, my friend, up there. Really, really strong. Second place, Frank in third place there. I want to talk a little bit about a special, uh, one of our special uh, friends here. I'm happy but not too surprised to see uh, our pal Stelius uh, Stylanu is ranking number 12. And those of you that, uh, that know him, many of you do, uh, he's from Stocklock Trading, uh, a really great veteran trader. And I know that many of you uh, have, uh, have chips placed on him and many of you have followed him in the past. Uh, but Stelius is a, is a great example of somebody that's consistently making profits day to day in this competition. And he's been climbing the ladder steadily and, uh, and surely since day number one. And uh, Stelius, from me to you, congratulations, and uh, doing a great job climbing up the ladder. First place, though, Bilal, still doing it here, and the race starts to become more serious now. And I want everybody to pay special attention to the rank changes and, uh, and, and where, that you'll notice you're no longer seeing the huge changes in positions each and every day, okay? And you're starting to see more people stay in the top 20 then people dropping out. And this is what it's taking. This is that consistency that we talk about, um, at least amongst the top 50. Uh, unlike the, the other occasions where we saw days where some competitors were at the top and then the next day they were out of the top 20. And, you know, the $3,500 daily maximum loss is definitely making this competition harder for the people that are taking on a lot more risk. Uh, and it's extra difficult to reach the podium, to reach that first place uh, first place. Uh, stand, podium stand, by taking on a lot of that risk. Here's the daily eliminations, Mayor. Take a look at that. Just as we said, started off with a lot of the gamblers coming out of the competition, day one, day two, and day number three. And as we get down into day number five, now, uh, as of yesterday, it's really starting to, uh, really starting to, uh, to get a lot less. So the daily loss limit, we had 58 people lose for the daily loss limit, the $3,500. Four people only lost for the maximum drawdown, and 11 people still don't understand that you can't hold positions overnight. Total, 73 people eliminated on day number five. Heck of a lot better than the 325 that happened on day number one. So we're really now focused on what I think is the cream of the crop. So again, that's sap happening now. We have four competitors from yesterday's top 20, which were eliminated. Uh, the number three competitor, the number four competitor, the number eight competitor, and the number 14 competitor, all out of the race. How about that? In one day, three, four, eight, and 14 gone. Jacob, Pedro, Christopher, and Joshua all out of the competition. You know what's now. interesting here, Scott? So just in. Tell me. You know, we started with almost 3,000 traders. And uh, first elimination day was over 300 and 250 or 70 or so. And then look at the numbers. I mean, 150, third day and so on. So we've got uh, first four days uh, eliminated almost 900 traders over 800, if I'm not mistaken. And that was out of 3,000 traders, almost 3,000, I believe. And now we've got around 2,000 traders and only 70 are getting eliminated. That says a lot. So we've seen... Plenty yep. of, you know, the people who tried to um, to gamble their way through that are out. And now that the number is still over 2,000, I believe, we still have, we only have 70 people eliminated on, the, on day five, which is interesting. Shows that those who are left are kind of taking it easy. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And, and some people playing it safe, but I've got to tell you, traders, remember, if you include today, which is Tuesday, you've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday, you've got five days left to make, make, it, uh, make it happen. And again, those of you that are playing conservative, at some point in time are going to have to trade a little bit more aggressive to win this thing.
Okay, let's take a look at the first place winner as we do the first, second, uh, first, second, and third place winner. And how are they trading? How is Bilal making it? How are they staying on top? What are they doing differently, or what are they doing the same each and every day? Well, only traded one stock yesterday, and that was CY. And since the market opened right around uh, 1120 or so, bought a thousand share, ten thousand shares in five transactions. So you can see the first one. 1,500 shares, 1,000, 2,500, 3,000, 2,000, and sold the whole amount in about an hour uh, after the last transaction just for a small profit. And that's how your first place trader, your very first place trader, traded yesterday's market. Let's take a look at number two, a little bit different. You can see a lot. Look at all those trades. So second place trader traded four symbols, AMD, CNC, Google, and MRTX and first shorted 100 shares of Google right after the market opened, partially covered, partially covered, remember that, partially covered 80 shares in about two minutes, shorted another 100, covered the two transactions, 60, 30, and 30 shares, and then went long, So, and sold that position in partials, 80, 10, and 10, and then decided to go short again. Now, almost, when I first saw this, I said, wow, this is really great. But then when I saw the trader go back in again, back short, then back long, then back short, then back long, you know, at the end of the day, they made a profit and congratulations. But after I looked at that and I said, you know what, that's not really the way that you ought to be trading. You can't be going back in short, back in long, back in short. Make your mind up, stick with the trade, stick with the trend of the market, and make sure you're doing all you can to maximize each trade. I, I'll say this about this short. Quote. You know, what I have to say about this is, you know, traders, if, if you short Google, for example, it's, it's not very likely that the second trade you're going to get is looking as good as the first trade. I mean, if you're adding to a trade, I can understand that. But if you're going in for the second or third time or fourth time, that doesn't look so good. You know, you, you've got thousands of uh, potential trades that you can take in different stocks. What is how likely it is that you're going to get a second trade or a third or even a fourth trade in the same stock that you traded. I can understand sometimes a second trade because you're already in the stock. You kind of start to understand its direction. You may be adding to a trade. That I can understand. But what happens when you've got a third trade and, um, and, and, and also when you're going long a trade that you went short? Well... That sounds to me like uh, you think you believe that you know where the stock is going. And that would be one of the biggest mistakes uh, a trader can make. You never know, really. I never know, really. So first trade, second sometime, or adding to a trade, I can understand that. Going long the same trade, the same symbol, or taking a third or a fourth trade, that's too much of a gambling in my, in my experience. And I, I would concur. To me, you know, not, and, and again, traders, we do this not to pick on the person, but just to show examples to learn from. One of the things that goes through my mind when, when traders trade at one stock and they're long, then they're short, then they're long, then they're adding, then they're covering, then they're going long, they don't have a game plan. They don't have the plan to follow. They're just really kind of shooting from the hip on whatever is right in front of them. So, uh, but. At the end of the day, this trader is in second place, and my hat's off to uh, to you in the way that uh, the way that you you're stationed right now in petition. And then we'll we'll finish with third place. Now, third place took three stocks, right? Just three stocks: AMD, CNC, and MTCH. Bought 300 shares of AMD, as you can see, right out of the gate in two transactions, 100 and 200. Then bought another thousand in about 25 minutes and sold a whole lot. 1,300 shares in about five minutes and made a profit. Okay, so they added to the trade and came out and made a profit. Then they bought another 2,000 shares of AMD and uh, sold them in two transactions, which means they parcel parceled out, making a profit in this stock. And then went on to short CNC a few times with a profit and then shorted MTCH, which was a popular trading stock yesterday, and made a profit. So all three symbols in the third place trader, uh, and that was Frank, were profitable yesterday. Frank trails by about 14 grand. Boris trails by about um, seven grand uh, as of this morning. And on top is Bilal. So congratulations to everybody. I do have to say this again. I say it each and every day. 
the person who's going to be consistent, the person who's going to keep the focus, and the person that's not going to uh, trade and gamble is going to win this competition. I say it each and every day. I truly believe that, and hopefully at the end of the competition, as we interview these traders, they're going to say that the consistency paid off, the focus paid off, and they're going to win one of the accounts. I'll leave you with this, and then I'll leave it up to Mayor to make the final and closing comments. Traders, if you're in this competition, remember, today is Tuesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday. You have five days remaining. If you're a trader with an account right now that is positive and you have uh, the, the uh, 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 amount in your account to be able to trade, don't think you're out of this by any means. There's well over 2,000 traders, and any one of you can win. You've seen it day in, day and day again where traders drop out of the top 20 and there's new traders coming in there. Things are starting to tighten up a little bit because the good traders are starting to take over right now. But don't think for a minute that you're out of this competition. Believe in yourself, keep the focus, keep looking, and do what's right when it comes to trading, and that is to be consistent. Increase the, increase the number of shares, and I think you've got a great chance at being a part of this trading competition. Mayor, up to you to close things out. Yeah, well, I, I would say the exact same things you said, Scott. I mean, uh, it's, there's still a lot of time. It's, we're only halfway through and we're seeing that um, the leaderboard becomes more consistent. We see the same names uh, for the past few days. I mean, it, it changes, of course, but uh, it becomes much more consistent and uh, it looks uh, more interesting to, in my opinion, right now. I would, I would still suggest to those who are in lead uh, to take it a little bit more easy. Um, I, I'm still seeing some red flags over there. Uh, people who are going long short, same stock, uh, trading the same stock. Uh, this is probably a bit of a luck. I would definitely suggest that uh, they would change this uh, way of thinking if they want to stay there. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Um, okay, so traders, that's it for the uh, uh, for the update. And we will do the same thing tomorrow. We'll continue on through the weekend. We'll then uh, end this on Monday. And then Tuesday is going to be a big day, traders. Tuesday will be a big day. Tuesday will be the, uh, the announcement of where we are with the competition. So, again, uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to uh, announcing that. Looking forward to interviewing uh, the winners. So, 